everyone, my name is Cecily Essery. I'm the CRE in HOTS Hall, which means I also advise the Lead Hogs in HOTS. And then I also co-advise the Lead Hogs across campus, so helping coming up with the strategic plan for that. So um, something I'm very passionate about, and I think everybody who works with Lead Hogs is passionate about, is leadership development. Um, being a leader worth following is something that takes time and effort and, and intentionality. And part of that is understanding what you should know as a leader. And as Lead Hogs advisors, we focus on eight core competencies um, that have to do with leadership. And so I want to outline those for you today. So as you go throughout your time as a Lead Hog, you can kind of recognize those eight areas and you can focus on the areas that you want to get better at or the areas that you really don't have much knowledge in and you want to um, begin to learn about. So the first one is learning and reasoning. Um, this is seeking out new knowledge, different perspectives. That's the, you know, the self self-reflection side of it. And then we have the self-awareness and development. This is understanding who you are as a leader and understanding your effects on others and how to lead others well. Uh, it also means managing your weaknesses. A lot of us as leaders have parts to our personalities that um, can have a negative effect on others. And so um, understanding and being self-aware is super important as a leader. The next one is group dynamics. Leaders lead people. People are complicated. Groups of people are very complicated. And so understanding how people work together as a group and how you can move a group forward together um, with a common mission and to work together cohesively is very important. It's also important to understand how you can build a diverse group um, and how, how you can have different perspectives and help each other understand different perspectives so you can make good decisions as a group for your followers. The next one is civil responsibility or civic responsibility. This is engaging with the community outside of your sphere of influence. Um, this can be voting, this can be um, community service, it can be anything that is helping lead outside of yourself. The next one is communication. Communication is huge. We all know that that is how we interact and, and engage with others. And so learning how to communicate effectively with your team to keep them on the same page, as well as communicate your vision clearly is very important. And we have interpersonal interaction. So a lot of this is how do you hold others accountable? How do you um, build re mentorship relationships? How do you engage with others to make them feel valued? And then we have strategic planning. This is your vision setting, your vision casting, your values. Um, this is, as a leader, you always gotta know where you're going. You've gotta be a step ahead of your followers. And this is how you do that through strategic planning. And then the last, um, personal behavior. That is um, the personal side of leading, which is um, knowing your own values, having resiliency, having self-control, and being that example of what it looks like to be a um, strong individual um, with good values. So those are our core competencies. That is the most rapid fire version of what those mean and um, what, what they encompass. There's a lot to them, but your time as a lead hog, you will learn a lot about them and throughout your time as a leader for the next 50, 60 years of your life. And so um, this is just the beginning for you.